OK. I would, I would like to know whether Tesla coils, the sparks which come off Tesla coils, do they come from the Tesla coil and come out, or do they go into the Tesla coil? Do they come from another place and go in? Now, I've come to the conclusion, just from using my um, very small wireless iron motors, which are just a drawing pin and a screw and a magnet, very similar to lots of other homopolar magnets I've seen on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I just put it on the bottom of a ball, and then I'll put it near my Tesla coil, and sparks will come out the end. And that's why my iron motor, because that's what really it is, will work wirelessly, simply because the spark will go out of the metal um, here and just towards the Tesla coil. Of course it won't actually make contact with the Tesla coil but still the spark comes from outside. It doesn't come from the Tesla coil and go out. It seems to come from the, the neon in this case and go in. Um, I was wondering if anyone had any information for me about this because this is news to me as ju just <laughs> I thought logically that this was where the high voltage was. I mean, I'm no physicist, but this is where the high voltage is. So I ex ex imagine the stream is coming out from the Tesla coil. But now I'm starting to think that perhaps they're going in. It's sucking the the stream of in, or the the high voltage spark is actually going into it. And I'll show you what I mean now with a very quick demonstration. But um, just to let people know, it's very simple. This iron motor. It's just a magnet, the drawing pin, and the screw, and a neon uh, uh, magnetically held onto the bottom. Um, I, at the end of the demonstration, I'll show you what I'm doing with the wireless part and the dish. None of this is connected to the original Tesla coil, and I can get a lot more lights than just that 72 watt. I'm using 32 volts at about just under an amp, the power supply. It's an old printer power supply, I can show you it here, it's from an old printer. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate that that's a lot, it's 30 watts, but it will light all of that 70 watt um, neon with no worries at all, and it will light all sorts of other lights as well if I just attach them to this circuit. And none of that is attached to the original Tesla coil, of course, it's, it's wireless transmission. Okay, enjoy the show.